Hey guys, Bing here. Um, saw this image on the internet, um, a little model, and uh, it's quite interesting. So today uh, we're going to model this. Okay, so let's start. So f um, first, we're going to model, uh, create a generic model adaptive, and go to floor plan. I'm going to place just place one to to one point and copy this point to here, and go to front uh, elevation, select these two and copy the map. So now go to 3D view. So now we have four points. And I'll make adaptive. So actually, I'm going to change the number. So one, two. I want make this two, and make this three, and then this will be four. So and then uh, spline, reference sign, spline, reference sign, and spline, reference sign. So now we are going to place a point, draw on face, and then draw it. I'll put, place it on this reference line and then I'll create a profile so reference rectangle draw on work plan set work plan pick this vertical work plan and I'll just uh, do uh, uh, roughly to uh, maybe uh, I'll maybe make it 400 by 100 and also I'm going to move this so move this up as I move it, uh, so it's centered both horizontal and vertical. Okay, so now select this profile and also the path, create a form so we have this shape. So now let's, we are going to create a new mass. So in this mass, uh, I'm going to go to maybe go to south elevation and I'll just create a reference some reference line I'll just do a, a, a rectangle and go to 3D view so we can see this is a rectangle oh, actually sorry I don't need that so I'll just have uh, one two three three line and uh, let's have a look see if I can move this this way okay MV no count Maybe, uh, maybe I can copy CC. No, Shift. Yes, CC Shift, and yes. Okay, so now I'll delete the middle one. So, so now I have to these two um, profile. So I'll just, just slightly change. So select this. If you select tab, select this one and also this one. So you will see that this point. So this point become a, a empty circle, see? Which means you can, if we drag this, you will change, um, you will adjust the uh, both lines, okay? So something like that. And if you click, only click one, so that's a solid blue point. If you select two of them, it become an empty dot, so then you can adjust them both together so now select these two profile I'll just create a form yeah and uh, let me have a look of this shape um, yeah quite uh, maybe I'll tab, try to tab select and then you can adjust it again so as I was select is not selecting the not the not the surface, okay, not this mass. You need to tab and select these these three um, reference reference signs. Okay, so roughly you can adjust them. So now so once finished, select this face, select this face and device surface. So now you can see um, we probably need to adjust the grid number. So, for example, if I change this, I guess this is V. Okay, so change it. Oh, no, not zero one. Um, yes. So, and also this one as well, one. And maybe on the other direction, on the U grid, I'll change it to twenty. Okay. So now, select these 
three face, one, two, three, three divided surface, and then, oh, sorry, you can't do it all together, so click select one, and uh, check the nodes, this one, check the nodes, this one, check the nodes, and okay, so now go back to the adaptive family, so this one, load into this mess, and go to 3D view, I'm going to place, so see, place on face should be should be okay so one two three and four okay so uh, looks like uh, relative to this mass this structure is quite small okay so that's that's fine what we can do is edit family so I'm going to add some parameter in here okay so so see this one I so Click on one of the reference line and see this ref a temporary uh, dimension. You can click on this one so it will create a dimension for you, and then you will be able to uh, create a parameter. So I'll call it um, W. Okay, W type. That's fine. And also click on this one, and you can you will create this one. I'll call it depth D. And okay. And also, I want it to be centered. So what I'm going to do is, I'll create, I'll de try to, um, let me try. Okay, so di, this point, this point, see if I can equal it. Yep. And dimension this line, this line, and at this point, and equal. Yep. Good. So I'll have a test of flex the dimension. So 900, 300, apply. Yeah, good. So now let's load this family into the mass. So what I'm going to do is, so if you select this edit type, so you will see these two dimensions. You can adjust them if you want to. And uh, now click on this family, adaptive family, and then click on repeat. You will will create all all the the rest for you so so that's it and uh, if you want if so again if you try to use a tab hang out maybe it's easier to um, temporary hold it hh and then you can you, you will can easily select this uh, ref, reference lines and then you can adjust them so and and if you HR, so you will see all the frame is changed to match the shape of the mass. Okay, so um, that's it. So I'll just quickly do another one. So drag this this way, and here yeah, this way, and maybe go that way. And HR, say okay. so. So this will be quite interesting if you um, you can you can probably use this to create some structure, maybe um, passageway, um, some yeah okay so yeah that's it so very simple easy and uh, interesting project thank you bye.